This is the Afghan National Army Air Corps. These are the men that keep it moving. And this is the woman who helps them do it. Captain Heather McDaniel mentors the Afghan Technical Services Squadron at Kabul International Airport. They maintain the towing vehicles, the cargo lorries and the fire trucks that make sure the Afghan National Army soldiers and pilots can accomplish their flying missions. Two, one, three. Texan McDaniel is part of the US military's 438 Air Expeditionary Advisory Group, a unit of logistical and technical professionals that are here to help improve Afghanistan's air capability. In Afghanistan, personal relationships are key to getting things done. Even though she operates in a scarcely resourced and male-dominated environment, Captain McDaniel hasn't had too much of a problem fitting in. Assalamu alaikum. You taking customers today? First, I was very, um, very scared and nervous that they were going to look at me as a female, and you know, we were told that you know, don't talk about their females, and they won't initiate conversations with females. But um, once I got in the seat and started working, um, it really became I was a military member, I was here as a mentor, and they were soldiers, and they saw me as a soldier um, to mentor them. So there has been very little um, gender bias, if any at all. At first, some of the new soldiers who I haven't met before are sometimes standoffish, but they'll see me interact with the people that I work with on a daily basis, and uh, then they realize that, you know, I'm nothing to be afraid of. That's not to say there aren't problems. Old Russian aircraft are complemented by old Russian vehicles, parts for which are very difficult to obtain. Some vehicles have turned up with missing parts. Captain McDaniel must not only track down the parts, but also mediate between a and soldiers and contracted mechanics. So which, which vehicles is it? Whether they were not on the vehicle when the vehicles got here, or whether they were taken off inadvertently, that's what we're going to try and figure out. Do you have to do a lot of mediating? Yes. <laughs> this is 90% of the job. Everyone, everyone, nobody wants to get in trouble for something that they didn't have control over. And right now, we don't have a necessarily secure area. People can come in and out, so there's a lot of the problem. Nobody wants to be blamed for something that they didn't actually do. McDaniel also mentors the squadron commander, Colonel Saki. It's this crucial relationship between mentor and commander that trickles down to the rest of the squadron. If anything's missing when they do that initial check, when they accept it, then they should write that down on the paper. So if we can find a place that uh, of some a squadron that needs it based on a Tashkil authorization, then we can fix it and give the vehicle to them. I am very happy to work with Captain McDaniel and she is very helpful for us. She always helps us with any problems we might have and I feel normal working with a woman. It is not important if it's a he or she. I am just happy to be working with her because she is so helpful. When I first met her, I wasn't surprised to be working with a woman, and I think she has the same feeling too. Man and woman are the same here. I can't see any difference. You know, it took a, it took a little bit. At first, it was just a handshake, um, but the longer that I've been here, the more they treat me just like I was, you know, their brother in arms. Um, you know, I get the full handshake, I, I am embraced, I'll get a, you know, kiss on each cheek. Um, and it's not because I'm a female, it's because I'm a soldier and they're a soldier and that's how we greet each other. It's a completely amazing experience. Um, most days uh, I see things that I would never see um, working in the U.S. military. Um, it's, it's frustrating because there's a language barrier, but at the same time um, you see the, the, the Afghan people and especially the, the army here and the soldiers here um, are very ingenious and they're crafty and they're skilled and they want to do well. And so throughout the language barrier and through the differences of the U.S. military versus the Afghan military, there's still a common ground of wanting to improve and wanting to make their Air Corps stronger. This is Ruth Owen in Kabul for the NATO Channel.